All right. Happy coming out day 2022. So, for those who don't know, I briefly mentioned this in my last video that I am an aromantic asexual and I've never actually formally come out because that was never necessary. My family always knew that this stuff never interested me in the least. It was very weird because once I learned the term asexual when I was late 30s maybe and I used that term with my mother the woman who didn't seem to have a problem with the fact that I was not interested in any of this seemed to be upset which was weird because it was just adding a term to what she already knew that I'm not interested in dating. Um, I, of course, by extension, I'm not interested in sex. And yes, I know not all aromantics are also asexual. I realize that there are aromantic sexuals and that there are romantic asexuals. So I'm aware of that. I'm aware that behavior and attraction are not the same thing. I get it. I know. But in my case, yeah, the two kind of go follow one another because I knew I was asexual. Well, actually, no. Let me put you this way. I knew I was aromantic. The idea of dating never, ever appealed to me. I did have a boyfriend once in high school. But that was more of a everybody else is hooking up and I want to appear normal. So I want a boyfriend too. Even though I was actually told by the popular girls that boyfriends are more trouble than they're worth and I'm just like yeah but you have them still so why of course at the time I didn't realize that that's because that they do have a romantic or a positive romantic orientation and pos most likely sexual orientation so you know it's a it's a, uh, um, you know, oh, what's the phrase? Um, it's a, uh, um, I can't think of it. Blah. Anyway, so I always knew that, but sex always in interested me in a more um, clinical sense, you know, more of a, I wonder what this is like. Um, then I realized, wait a minute, why would I want to have sex with someone I'm not attracted to? So, yay. So, yeah, that was a thing. Um, so, yeah, I don't understand why. So, I've never felt the need, like, friends that I'm, that I had, my best friend in grad school. You know, she didn't care. Um, you know, I would just start using the term amongst people that I knew in real life. None of them seemed to care. The most caring I got, well, there was this one deeply religious um, cab driver who I didn't use the word because I did, was not familiar with the word at the time. And, um, he just quoted Genesis to me, you know, the, um, the, the idea that we should go forward and multiply like we're fucking rabbits. Um, so no, except for that one guy who, <sighs> yeah, except for that one guy. 
nobody's bothered me about it, so I never really felt the need to come out. I mean, I would mention it. Once I learned the word, I would use it, only to realize that I generally have to explain what the word means because apparently putting an A in front of a word is too difficult for people to realize what it means. <sighs> I realize that most people don't know Latin, but, dude, atheism exists. How how deep how deep in uh in the, under a rock do you have to be that you don't know what the A means? <sighs> anyway, so um, so yeah, that's me. That is why I celebrate Coming Out Day. And, um, if you have any questions, I'm a pretty much an open book. Oh, yes, but the most common question people get asked, um, which I wonder, I, with a varying amount of sincerity, I wonder how many of these people who ask this actually care or just are desperate to find something wrong with us. And that is, um, have you checked, have you gotten your hormones checked? Well, eight years ago, I had a hysterectomy because of uterine fibroids. And I bring that up because what do they, what do uterine fib fibroids eat? Estrogen. So yeah, I'm pretty, I, I think I was always good on the hormone level. So yeah, that was not a problem. So don't want any snarky comments about there being anything wrong with me in that regard. Yes, I know there's plenty wrong with me, but not in that regard. So, um, but if you guys do have any of any legit questions about my orientation or asexuality in general because I certainly don't speak for all asexuals and I don't speak for all rom aromantics either. I know that I'm unusual even with them because a lot of asexuals and aromantics they're extroverts and they want to have a social life and possibly um, pair up. You know, maybe get married, maybe have kids, some type of, some type of um, intimate relationship that just isn't necessarily romantic. So, and I'm not interested even in that. That to me is just, like I said, I had a boyfriend once in high school and it just, it just, um, confirmed what I already knew this was this is totally pointless I felt that actually I felt the same way about makeup and jewelry too so but anyway so so yeah I know I'm not the poster child for a for arrow aces I know I'm not so but if you're but I do have some knowledge of um, what the different types of um, expressions of asexuality and aromanticism in the community. Not a lot, but I do know some because I actually listen to what people tell me. So if you're interested in either my personal experience or want to learn more about asexuality, I'm willing to answer questions, um, even if they are really personal. Now, because I, I consider myself an open book for the most part, obviously there's probably a line somewhere, and I'll let you know if you find it. So, I think that's all for this video, and I will see you in the next one.